Matthew 10, 19. Hatan de paradosen humas, me meramnesete pos eti la lesete, da thesetai gar humin in ekene te hora ti la lesete. Remember, Jesus has warned his disciples that as they go out on mission, they will be led before governors and kings. And he says, now, whenever or when, ah, 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 we know the subjunctive is going to follow any of those little words that end in on, hatan, hasan, et on, any of those constructions. So he says, but when they deliver you over, when they hand you over, you can see some English translations have tried to clarify this is in a sort of a legal condemnatory context when they hand you over for trial or when they arrest you or something like that. Jesus says, do not worry. You all don't worry how or what you'll speak for it will be given to you all in that hour what you will speak. Very interesting things here. We don't have time to look at all of them, but let's go back here to the first line. And we knew, knew the subjunctive was coming. It was going to govern the clause Well, until there was a comma or period. And there it is right there. We have, uh, uh, when you see a da or do, you know it's from ditto me. There's no yoda reduplication. So this is an aorist. It's an aorist active subjunctive. And that's just a third person plural ending. When they hand you over, there's your accusative object. It's interesting. We have lots of uh, subjunctives here. Here we have a prohibitory subjunctive. Remember that may plus the aorist subjunctive is the way you, you say don't do this in the aorist. And that's what we have right here. You can see there's a sigma. There's a lengthened vowel, right? The may is used with non-indicative moods. This is from the, the lexical form merimnao, merimnao, to be anxious, to worry about. He says don't worry. Don't be anxious right second person plural addressed to the disciples don't worry how or what you will speak and this is an example we don't have time to go into detail here today but this is a deliberative subjunctive right here and this is a deliberative subjunctive so we have a uh, you know a subjunctive and a hatan clause here an indefinite that would be called an indefinite temporal subjunctive we have a prohibitory prohibitory uh, subjunctive here to say don't do this in the aorist and then we have two deliberative subjunctives so a lot of different subjunctives here let's look at one final thing as we finish off we have this da face it da remember when you have a dardo have a dardo and you don't know what it's from it's from ditto me see the theta that's your sign of the passive somebody kicking back feeling passive this is a future passive indicative third person singular it will be given I think it's rightly classified a divine passive, right? It will be given by God uh, to you. It will be given, for it will be given to you. Important note, this is about facing persecution in Christian mission. This is not about sermon preparation. <laughs> you don't, don't take this out of context and give, you know, give no thought beforehand what to say. Wrong! Uh, we should study diligently uh, that we would be faithful stewards of God's word. But we can be encouraged that when we find ourselves, uh, those Christians who do find themselves in moments of great trial, where they're facing condemnation on the mission field, they can know the Holy Spirit will give them the words to speak.